Welcome to Keep Coast. So enough of everything that you've been doing when you came here. I know I'm um, in Ghana. To me personally, I am preaching more about partnership. Okay. What is it that you are doing in Ghana that you're partnering with, with other either local or indigenous people or diaspora? Okay, so currently I am the spokesperson um, for Bamboo Roots Collective. And collectively, we, we come together to live sustainably off the grid with our own water source, okay. um, our own solar panel system, our own garden, so we, we can eat, you know, without yeah. making too much purchases. Yeah. Um, and so collectively, a few of us have come together and um, bought for progress. And okay. that's kind of like what we're working on putting together now. And so we'll be showing how, as a collective, we can come together in Ghana and, you know, get money uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> all right so <laughs> right <laughs> all right so if you don't know and you're watching pragya it's a it's a tricycle it has only three tires right yeah and then it is accepted here in ghana so people use it a lot yeah. it's easy very cheap to to use or to patronize mm -hmm. and then it takes you closer to your destination but there are a lot of businesses in ghana mm -hmm. but why did you choose Pragya. Um, the Pragya is just one of the many businesses that I ventured off in here in Ghana. But the reason we chose this one in particular is because mm -hmm. it's very common here, like you said. It's okay. very affordable. Okay. Um, and the transportation business is always going to be something that's needed. And mm -hmm. people are always going to move around. So it's just the best investment that, you know, made sense for the location that we're in. Okay. So we'll venture into buying more of them over time and okay. also into the actual taxi okay. business as well, as far okay. as like the cars and things like that. So it's just the beginning, you know, starting small and moving up to having an actual transportation company beautiful beautiful mm -hmm. so how many did you start with four four what what are you going to do different from the other projects that are moving around cape coast um just the professionalism being uniform you know having making sure our drivers are extremely courteous mm -hmm. um, making sure that they're driving safe and that they're protected with their protective gear okay um, and things like that we just kind of want what they look and so we want to give them a good experience so we can you know have them freak with us they see the green and the mm -hmm. was collective <laughs> yeah. and they say i want that probably yeah. so yeah, yeah. So anybody watching right now, if you don't know, this is exactly how the Pragya looks like. And that is the kind of business my sister right here is trying to get on. This particular one, mm -hmm. it's, it's the collective. It's the collective so one, yeah. Bamboo Root Collective. Yeah. Bamboo Root Collective. Yes, okay, beautiful. Uh -huh. So, hey, um, if you're watching this video, thank you very much for checking us out. Um, I will be bringing you more of this, okay? Brothers and sisters who have moved to the motherland to start something. For themselves they didn't come here looking for wait i have a, another question to ask you okay when you came did you did you try looking for a job no no i came with the mind frame that i was going to start a business and okay. provide a lane to employ okay. um, Ghanaians. okay okay i think that 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 makes a lot of sense because i made a video saying that you know to be very honest with you where you're coming from which is the west mm -hmm. 
and then here in Africa there's a vast difference when yes. it comes to development and yes. everything so I believe that when you are coming you should come with where you've learned yeah. to teach us yeah. and then we all grow together yeah we've combined our resources exactly and even in that sense we collectively come together yeah. to make sure the Ghanaian and African American yeah. you know yeah. coexist or exactly. you know help each other out right okay I have this crazy question that I ask <laughs> a lot of beautiful ladies that I meet. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, uh, okay, we won't talk about that right now. Okay, let, okay, let me ask. You are, you, are, you are here by yourself, right? Yeah, am I single? <laughs> are you single? Yes, I am. I'm just focused on my business right now, so I'm just kind of married to the money. <laughs> okay, okay, so I can no. I can search for nobody for you oh uh, uh, the most high lead you <laughs> it just can't be anybody yeah, straight, you know so you know, i don't i don't know i'm not looking but yeah. i'm not um against yeah, anything, anything that was to happen okay. i guess you could say okay <laughs> since the ancestors brought you here definitely they will give you somebody I'll put up a comment let us know what you think about her project of being here on the motherland and like i said if you're moving here or you want to move here you have any idea anything about moving to the motherland she will be the right person to you know give you info on that because she's already here for the past six months and she's doing it thank you for checking us out bye, bye. Sweet chase and lead